This is the original thing I got to retro for the 1982 Scarefest Horror Cult Classic One Dark Night. It's definitely a classic, it's not vintage like the black and whites of the 20s and after the silent films, the color tints even. They were influenced by the Hammer films, the Universal, Edgar Allan Poe, the natural scare, or scary horror movies, even like Halloween 1970, which made a lot of money, low budget, made by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill and his team. And this is one of my favorite horror movies ever made. Tom said he didn't like the ending, it was changed. We actually they took it, but they didn't let him do anything with it. They, he had to make his own ending in their garage, his yard, they borrowed the cameras free from Panavision. The original opening was changed, you know, like that. It was one of those horror movies just played well and it fell into obscurity. I cannot tell you how bad this movie scared me when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I saw it in the 90s. My grandma was work, you know, I was a cook at the Oaks, a bar up the street from me now. I live in New Ken, near, near Penn State. Um, my aunt sued to me, aunt watched me, it was Marcy and Mary Monica Rudy, and I just, I, I don't know, Adam Weston is, how can I say it's going to be a bad a horror movie. I didn't think it was a horror movie. And he's a by the ending in this mausoleum and stuff. I just felt uneasy, and it just was really scared to shit out me, especially those corpses. And I understand the Ray Marr and the bioenergy telekinetic stuff and the psychic vampire stuff, but and those corpses really did it, man. In particular, there's one corpse I can see on here and point out here. There's, there's Ray Marr, of course, and there's Steve looking for Jolie because because part of a clique for a high school initiative. They make her spend the night in a mausoleum. There's the pus man with bombing fluid, but it was released on VHS by Thorny and in the 80s, and then DVD 06, and then 17 Blu ray, then 2021 again on Blu ray. This is awesome. There's the corpse right there. Yeah, there he is. That one scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. That's that really rotted one, the decayed one. It made a lot of money when it came out. Top 20 grossing movies of Tootsie and A2, but then it just fell into obscurity. One of those horror movies, one of the best one ever made. Naturally scary horror movies, amazing. This badass, awesome horror movie. So scary. Love it always.